this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to add fireworks to nighttime photos. So let's have a look here. This is the image that we want to use. This is the fireworks image, and we're going to apply this to our city at night um, photo here. So what we need to do is uh, go back into our fireworks here. We're going to select all of the image. That's uh, Control A. We're going to copy it. Control C. Go to our nighttime uh, cityscape uh, image. Do a Control and V and paste that fireworks into our cityscape. Right. Now we're going to reposition our fireworks and change the mode over to screen which will allow the fireworks to come through the image. Now you want to take this opportunity to uh, align the fireworks to as, as you want it to appear. And if you're having trouble seeing the cityscape and the fireworks at the same time, you can change the opacity of the fireworks to be a little lighter so you can see a little bit better what you're positioning. In this image here, it actually works out pretty well without having to change the opacity, so that's all right. Now what we need to do is uh, just uh, add a uh, layer mask here and we're going to start to strip away a little bit of the image that we don't need. So for example we're going to add uh, a, a gradient here and with the gradient using a black to white gradient we're going to go um, from the bottom around uh, to the horizon so around where we don't need it. So around here and to the top like so so that we are Create, deleting that bit over there and making it seem like the fireworks are just starting from there and going on forwards. The other thing that we can do here is uh, actually make it make it make the fireworks here blend in a little bit better with the sky. It's it's taking in too much. There's too much green in here. There's too much light into it. So we're gonna click into our fireworks image here, not the layer mask, the actual image. We're gonna go into image adjustments and levels. And in levels, what you want to do here is just move the slider here to the right so that the sky becomes a little darker. And if you want a little bit of help with that, you can move in the black slider as well, which will bring in a little bit more of the blacks, getting rid of some of the green. So I'm going to just move in that just slightly, but basically I want some of the green to be in there as well. So I'm going to do that. And if you want any help with the whites in your fireworks, you can do that by just moving your slider of the, the white slider here to the left to make your uh, lights a little brighter. I don't think that actually needs much. I can move in maybe a couple points, but the whites are actually okay in this image. So just get it to a point where you're satisfied with uh, the intensity and how it is mixing in with the sky. Once you're satisfied with that, click OK. And now the only thing that's left to do is actually uh, mask out some of the parts where it's going over some of the larger, more noticeable uh, buildings. So we go back into our layer mask and with a brush, we go ahead and with black start deleting the areas where it is affecting our uh, skyscrapers. So we're just going to delete those bits. And remember that if you make any mistakes, for example like here, you can always switch colors with X and go back in and put the, uh, the fireworks back in. But essentially you just want to remove just the more noticeable of the uh, bits going over the more noticeable skyscrapers. There we are. And uh, we are set. So let me show you here the before and the after. And look at that. Pretty nice firework nighttime sky. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.